welcome to my channel. Some viewers have mentioned that the volume during my live streams is too low. I've tried changing microphones multiple times, but the problem still exists. After some effort, I have finally found a way to increase the volume. In this video, I'll show you how to increase the voice volume while streaming with OBS. This technique is based on a suggestion from a Japanese YouTuber and my personal experience. First, to determine whether the volume is sufficient, observe if the microphone input bar reaches the yellow or red zone, around minus 13 decibels. A volume that's too low may cause viewers to find other videos with normal volume too loud, or they may not hear you clearly during your live stream. Now, let me explain how to increase the volume specifically. Step 1 is to set up monitoring so you can hear your own voice. Here's how, right-click on the mixer tab and open the Advanced Audio Properties. This will open an Audio Monitoring window. Find the microphone settings, which should be set to Monitor Off. Change this to Monitor Only or Monitor and Output. Your voice will feed back to you. This allows you to adjust settings while listening to your own voice. Please note that I am using this setting for the purpose of this demonstration. During a normal live stream, you would set monitoring to off. Also, after setting up the microphone with the monitoring function, make sure you can hear the feedback through the headphones connected to your computer. The second step, a usual one, in OBS's mixer, is to maximize the gain of the audio track to 0.0, .0 decibels. Don't worry about noise, at this point, for broadcasters who typically speak softly, the output volume is still not high enough. The third step is to use OBS's audio filter feature to finish adjusting the microphone volume. First, open the audio filter interface. Click on the gear icon next to the microphone to open a menu. From this menu, select to add a gain filter. Increase the gain while monitoring, and at the same time, observe whether the microphone input bar reaches the yellow or red zone. Set the gain to a sufficiently high value, usually between 7 to 15 decibels. The fourth step, to suppress the problem of volume spikes when shouting loudly, we also use OBS's audio filters compressor feature to control it. To add a compressor, click the plus sign and then select compressor. Regarding the settings, OBS's compressor works by controlling the volume over the set threshold at a certain ratio. When setting up, the threshold can be set to about negative 10 decibels, and the ratio can be set to 1 tenth, 1 15th, or even 1 20th for those who often shout loudly. If there is a cracking sound when shouting loudly, you can appropriately increase the compression ratio. Even if there is no cracking sound in monitoring, it might occur during the actual live stream, so it is recommended to check through a test live stream or OBS's recording function. Regarding attack time and release time, this refers to when the compressor starts to apply for sound exceeding the threshold. Applying a compressor without careful thought can lead to problems. The fifth step, if you frequently use the keyboard during the live stream, such as for gaming, to reduce the keyboard sound as much as possible, use OBS's audio filters noise gate. To add a noise gate, click the plus sign and then select the noise gate filter. Regarding this setting, there are options like the threshold, open threshold, start of action time, hold time, and release time. The threshold is the level at which the gate will close after opening. Leave this setting for now. The open threshold is the decibel level above which sound will be transmitted in the live stream. Tap the keyboard and adjust it to the point where the keyboard sound is just not captured. If you tap too hard, you might also block out your own voice, so please tap lightly to test. When you think the keyboard sound won't be transmitted, set the threshold to about minus 5 decibels of the open threshold. For example, when my setting is minus 21 decibels, the keyboard sound becomes less noticeable, so I set the open threshold to minus 21 decibels. Then I add minus 5 decibels to the threshold and set it to minus 26 decibels. Regarding the start of action time, hold time, and release time, I think the default settings are good enough and do not need to be adjusted. 
Finally, if after applying the compressor you find the volume is still not at the desired level, such as not reaching around minus 13 decibels. Then in step 3, it is necessary to appropriately increase the output gain. Okay, if you're ready, go back to the first step before you start the live stream and turn off the monitor setting. In summary, by following these steps, you can effectively adjust the volume during the live stream to ensure the sound is clear and not distorted, while avoiding interference from background music or other noises. After trying these settings, your live stream should avoid the problem of low volume, thus enhancing the viewing experience for your audience. Thank you for watching.